What's happening, ladies and gentlemen of League Zero, and welcome to the postseason press conference for the Novice Division Champions, uh, Wisdom Academy. Got a few members of the team here today. We got Alpha Omega. Uh, God damn it, you have nicknames on Red Panda, uh, Spongy <laughs> Cheese, Minimax, Kin, Kindrew, Kin. I've heard them call you, and Navino. Do we got yeah, Navino oh. champion or give Navino a uh, whatever? The what? So give Navino champ roll, day, whatever. Oh, I don't know. We made a vote on it. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Dividing <laughs> the one who it up. It's still ongoing, I think. I think it was, like, dead even. No? Yeah. Like, dead even. I guess the runner. Anyways, um... I have questions for you guys. You actually got a decent amount of questions. Chalker, the team that wins or gets to the grand finals, has a lot of questions. Okay, uh, trying to do these chronologically, uh, okay, let's start off with this one, uh, did it feel like there was any extra pressure to live up to the legacy of Season 2's Wisdom Academy? I mean, like, when I went forward, I knew my expectations, but I, I guess, like, I don't know, I guess, what did the rest of y'all think, because, like, I never thought there was, but I, like obviously, you, you, as players, you're probably even more than I did. I think for me, there was definitely the idea of like following up on season two with them, but it was more of a personal redemption thing from plot chat. Yeah, I'd say I only started to feel <clears throat> that uh, before grand finals because, of course, my head needed to make up a reason for me to be nervous, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, before that, it was just kind of like, I mean, yeah, I'm on Wisdom. Like, it's going to be a good team because it's Wisdom. But there was never, like, we have to be better until, I guess, until we lost in the regular season. But mostly going into the Grand Finals, yeah. Yeah, 100% agree with Panda. There wasn't a lot of pressure leading up to the Grand Finals. But then once we had, like, this, you know, 7-0 and season and then we lost and 7-1, and there was definitely this pressure going to Grand Finals, you know, if we can live up to what we did throughout the rest of the season. I think the turning point, like for me on you guys, was like when, like remember when I went ballistic when you lost the map to SVC? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wait, no, I wasn't there. Never mind. There you were. <laughs> yes, no, you were. No, I, I, were I wasn't there that oh, night. Yeah, yeah. Point. And I were missing that week. That's yeah. obviously why we lost the map. Because I was. Not. It was Halloween day <laughs> after all. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and you two are fucking pretty best teams. Um. <laughs> But, like, I just remember, like, to me, that was, like, the turning point of, like, like, how I had to compare the two teams, like, since, like, is WA Season 2, I felt like never had the drive to be the best at times. Like, yes, they were all individually talented, but I felt like we just, like, I, I use examples like uh, Alex's, in, like, inability to grind to Mercy for the team because he hated it. And so, like, we always saw uncomfortable Mercy comps because, all like, Alex would just not want to play him. Um, and then, which is, like, you know, he's probably going to DM me and be like, I never said that. I was like, bro, but, like, that's how it felt, right? And then also our inability to uh, really push tempo as much as I wanted to on old WA because, they, like, it felt like we had no sense of urgency in Season 2. And that's why, like, after we lost that map to SPC and then we lost to Geo, like, I really, like, uh, they'll tell you, I took a week off DC scrims <laughs> to, yeah, to go to did. WA scrims, and I kind of, like, drill, drill the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. I, I think that is something that we had trouble with, even on Season 3 Wisdom Academy, is that we didn't have that drive to control the tempo of the game as much. As much as, like, someone like Geo, at times argue that Geo doesn't control tempo. They just yeah. played there, like... Yeah. I, I just feel like we could have controlled the tempo more. Percent, <clears throat> but like... Yeah. Like, how Geo played was each time they ran a composition at one speed. They weren't good at speeding up and slowing down. You guys could speed up and slow down. It was just the issue was... We slowed down it, too much. Yes, and you weren't great at, like, speeding back up once you slowed down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those couple 
couple of weeks were definitely like the slump in the season too, uh, because I, I think like I think it was in those couple of weeks that we almost never had coaches at like there were some scrims that we just didn't have coaches at all a lot of times it was just one coach and then they were like i don't know what you're supposed to be doing so you know do whatever and yeah. so it was and it was a combination came. of that and like us just being like yeah we're the best team so we're fine and we got a little bit overconfident towards and the then i the i just remember my rant about how i can't hold him um because I remember Thai or you like Spongy, you and Thai said something to me about it, and I was like, if y'all can't don't know what to run at this point, if you don't know like the archetypes, then one, I've probably actually failed as a coach because you guys should know it by now. Uh, and two, if you're ever going to win a championship, you cannot just rely on me to be there the entire time. That like that's exactly what season two WA did. They relied on Jelly Nine to give them comps, and they were horrible at mid map adaptation. All and right. so, yeah. yeah, I feel like that's something that's helpful. This kind of follows up on that one. So, who specifically in game uh, kept the team's mental state uh, steady through the rough moments this season? 100% geek ache. It was a couple yeah. times when we were like, when some of us were getting tilted, and she's just like, hey guys, knock it off, mm -hmm. calm down. We got to go into this next, this next team fight. Except for grand finals. When she you was. Will... Yeah. So she was like <laughs> hyped up on some shit. Yeah. Honestly, she was super <laughs> yeah. hyped. No, no, no. So Geek Jordan was super Coco hyped Coco. in our grand finals match, and then the coach, the coaches there were telling her to calm down, and that's when we started losing. And then she started hyping yeah. up again, and we started winning. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's to let's another day. Don't interrupt Geek. <laughs> yeah, I think that goes back to like what I said, like what I've told her all season, which is like you have to control the team because like. If you all remember at the beginning of the season, I just had her alt track, and that was about it. Yeah. And then remember, like, week mm -hmm. two or week three, I added on fight planning to her? Yep. And I don't think it really clicked with her till then. Because she was... She, like, you guys are at your best when you can just push the tempo and end fights as quickly as possible. We saw it in OTW. You even saw it, like, when we played Brawl... Um, towards the end of the series, or even the first map of the series, versus Geo. Um, and I think a large part of that is because Geek actually pushed you guys to do it. Something that we hadn't really done all season, because I would say the people that pushed our tempo outside of Geek was Thai, and if Thai yeah. didn't do it, it just felt like no one did. No matter how much I yelled. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the main support babysat you all. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if it works. So uh, outside of Geek being all hyped up and on adrenaline for the grand finals, what do you think in general like helped you guys push over that hump of like actually being able to take that game, especially because I went to seven maps this time instead of five last season? Yeah. So for me personally, there was definitely a moment in that grand final set towards the end where like the fatigue was getting to me a little bit. I was like getting in my own head. Um, but we, we did a good job after map six, all just kind of like calming down. And I forget if who in particular kind of led that, but I think it was just like the team overall. Everyone was like, okay, guys, take a deep breath, calm down. Wait, hey, I came, I, that was when yeah. I came into my phone. After no, no, you came in, you came in before map six. What? Oh, was it map five I came at? Like, uh, yeah, you came after four? map five when we went up three, two. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I just remember coming in at work because I was closing at work. And yeah. giving a speech. <laughs> I, I think he came in when we were 3-1, actually. No, it was 3-2. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Like, you had just won Nepal, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we all so anyway, there's definitely a moment. Control. There's definitely a moment where we had to kind of cool down and, and get back in, in the game. And then, obviously, map 7, we came back into it a little bit stronger and ended up taking the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we oh, kept our geek. mentals. Hi, Geek. Hi. Welcome. I think we kept our mentals and like our our sort of energy at like kind of leveled out in that series better than we have for like any other series. And I I mean I guess it's more important for grand finals because it's gonna be a longer series and it did end up being going all the way. Um and I think we also did a better job of like actually paying attention to what they were doing and kind of adapting to it um than in a lot of our other series as well. Um you know, the, the most obvious example being that, like, King's Row, we were doing really well, 
and then we got hit by like two or three at least like five man shatters um at the last point and that was like really the difference maker and jeff pointed that out and so we were like okay like we need to be on top of tracking that ult for sure and we need to make sure everybody's ready for it we don't just expect many to be there to uh block it even though he will block it most of the time and so we went, when we went to the map seven and they kept zexu in because they wanted to like sort of force the Rhine mirror which is understandable because they were doing well there um we just stayed so on top of zexu that he couldn't do anything like that second map even when it was a Rhine mirror we just kn knew he had shatter after like the first fight and we just never let him breathe and i think that was a really great adaptation on our part and I think we did a lot more other like little things like that throughout that series. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he got literally no knockdowns in that last map. That being said, like mm -hmm. y'all should have lost that uh, point. I'm just gonna be real. Yeah. Um, I mean, totally we, I mean, like, remember I did like <laughs> I did like <laughs> a Zorth also ate a blizzard. <laughs> yeah, like if Zorth doesn't need that blizzard, you guys lose that immediately. Yeah. But then you guys did a good job of kiting back and like prolonging the fight, and then Wooly uses beat because he because he was out of sync with. EMP because he doesn't think Thai doesn't have EMP, and then Thai just rips off beat with EMP, and you guys win. Like they went into that fight like five ults to year two, and you guys won. Yeah. And it was just so dumb. Uh, <laughs> the point still stands. We didn't let them shatter us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so actually, I remember just. I go ahead. I was like. After, so like after the game, I get off of work because I because like, like I was closing. So I got back home around midnight, and then we all jumped in VC with me as I as I did a live reaction to our Busan. <laughs> there we were, <laughs> and I just was like, "This Matt, this point, bro, what the hell? You guys should have lost." <laughs> I will say though, what really I think I'm proud of the most is the fact that like you guys really brought on like your ball sig play to a different level than you had the entire season. A lot of teams, I mean, like, Geo, like, was the only team that really consistently ran ball sig and ran it well. And then we went in there and beat them a majority of maps where they ran ball. Like, I think the, the map that they won was, like, Dorado with ball. And then, and then again, they won Anubis. We don't talk about Anubis. Uh, we never talk about Anubis. Yeah. We were running were different strats on Anubis than, like, our core, like, three things. And I think that kind of threw us off a little bit. I don't know, like, the thing is, is, like, our core thing wasn't working. You guys literally couldn't take it in, like, any scrims. So I was like, yeah. fuck it. We're just going to try to like, You Man. still, you took first easier than I, than we ever have before. It was just our second was bad. <laughs> Actually, speaking of that, Curd Master has an interesting question. He's, he asked, uh, what were the biggest weaknesses that other teams could never exploit out of you? Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Nev has a list. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of teams didn't punish our indecisiveness at times. Because there's times where we just took way too long to engage and no one really punished it from us. I would say in the ball play, no one punished Zort. Like, yeah. at all. <laughs> well, like, I, I remember, Zorf would never get stunned <laughs> just doing anything. Like, yeah, he, like, he, like, it felt like people didn't save stuns for him when that's the entire point of having a brig. And, like, that's not just, like, in the finals. That was, like, whenever we ran it in scrims, whenever we ran it in other, against other teams, right? As well as, like, uh... Call back to the, the one match on King's Row. <laughs> he stayed alive on cart in overtime oh. for like two minutes and built. Oh yeah, on like ball. I remember that. Yeah, that was yeah. Oh, good. The Zorth with a third point ball stall. Yeah. Shout out to Zorth in general since he can't be here. We love you. <laughs> I, I just like. Also, a big thing is like we ran Somber Reaper, which is yeah. right now I would argue worse than May Cree in the brawl right now, as well as like we still ran Diva instead of Sig. And we ran sorry. Like we just, I just said, like I remember, like after seven minutes, I was like, we're not running sick and brawl anymore, because like we just weren't great at it. And I don't think like Zorth thing is bad. It's just it felt like we just weren't comfortable with it because how the sig brawl plays is a little more spammy. And when we play brawl, how I taught it, you guys, you just want to close distance and just run people over. And sig sometimes has a little difficulty doing that. Um, but like, no one punished the fact that like. 
that they could literally almost charge in and take a five, take a, like a, a five v six while the Sombers aren't off it. Like when you want to play against a Sombra, right? You just play even faster. Because even if your Ryan gets hacked, right? If you push in with the May Cree, your May and Cree, your May and Cree have the CC and like the damage to just keep him up. And you still, and if you ran like the May Cree Bat Lucio, which is really common, then you just throw Immortality down and you still win. But no one played fast enough for that to actually work. Because people like just let Thigh set up for days, it felt like. <laughs> All right, well. You know I, what, that actually, I have one more thing to add on that. Um, definitely other teams had a hard time playing fast against us, because especially in that Grand Finals, Geo had a lot of trouble with, with Thigh's Pharah, which we hadn't run for a while yeah. before that. But You didn't even run that in scrims. I didn't even yeah. think you guys were, like. Yeah. Because every well, time I told you to run Farah, you're like, Oh, Farah's not that good, and I was like, fine, whatever. That was why. <laughs> we were in it because I felt like I was getting zero to no value on Brig. Because I honestly yeah. was just standing there like, hey guys, don't worry, I built up my ult, and then we would win the point. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is yeah, fine. I think, yeah, we Jeff also made another good point that, like, uh, that Geo really didn't stop it on Ike, so he's just like, go, go Farah. Yeah, and Especially Ike, I just want, like, when you watch that back, I kind of just, like, single-handedly kills everyone as far up. But, I and was that's... crying on Ike, it was great. Wait, what? I what? started what? crying on Ike because we couldn't kill a ball. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that stall fight, oh my god. My, like... my comms for the first two maps were very emotional. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's funny. Very... I, I think I think the main reason we actually didn't want to run the Farah was because you have to run the Mercy with it, and when we run it in that comp, then you're running Mercy Zen, and and so it's really easy to put a lot of pressure on the Zen, and that kind of causes the team to either have to peel for him or lose him, and then that you lose a lot of pressure with that. But I think after yeah. the first few, like I. When we recognized that they weren't running comps that could pressure the Zen with flankers or anything like that, then we could easily just give up the give up the brig to have uh, a farmer C. And Thai just did so much like damage and pressure that they didn't deal with. And even like you could run a Zen Mercy comp with Ball Sig when you run like an Ash and stuff. But the idea is is that me and Rock actually got to argue about the argument about this at Quaka Scrims recently. Um, <laughs> Where, uh, you know, the, the Mercy is supposed to pocket. So the whole idea of running a Farah is counterintuitive because the Mercy is not pocketing the Farah. Because even when you run the Ash, the Mercy isn't going to be all the time on the Ash. He is literally just pocketing the Zen and is then flying to the Ash to damage through certain things. Right? And so that's why running a Farah with a Ball Sig is rather, like, not ideal. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's something they actually could have punished 100%. But they didn't. Yeah, but actually, I think they made swaps like to more hit scan to try and deal with the Farah instead of making yeah, more swaps sure. to pressure me out. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they just didn't kill a thigh because he knows how to play Farah, right? It's really funny how <laughs> they the entire team went out to <laughs> the end that one time on Busan. Oh, on Busan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> like, That's the funniest the fight, dude. <laughs> They walked across the entire map with their and just went into our spawn to chase me. <laughs> so funny this to rewatch. Because, like, the, um, the Twitch VOD has, like, a perfect view because it's like they hover over him and Geo just chasing you down the spawn. Yeah. And I actually did tons of damage to the tanks. So they were, like, trying to recuperate from that and then Thai just came around behind them and barraged. <laughs> I'm sure reaction to that. He's like, he, he thought it was like super ballsy. I thought it was a ballsy one considering there was literally a Sigma shield in his face. But I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, this one is more tailored towards the players, but I guess, Novino, if you have something uh, in relation to managing, you can also have an interesting answer. But uh, what would you say is the most important thing that you learned this season? Not to tilt. Because <laughs> I tilted way too much this season. <laughs> like, way more than I did last season. Play fast. And I would say a second part, but I don't know if I'm allowed to swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> At the end, we'll tell them the team mantra. At the end, we'll tell them. 
Oh yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I basically like I it was just. Most, you can go most. It, it was a lot of just drilling to play fast and play confident and play out tempo. I think one thing I also learned a lot more um, is uh, positioning and like off angles, like to take like safer ones. Also, not ego peeking. Cough, cough, spongy. <laughs> yep. He <laughs> he. I, this season, I think I definitely learned how to better calm as well. Because I've had to calm so much more, I feel like, on this team than my last team. Uh, oh, the vision or quality? <laughs> I mean, I would hope you could calm. I can calm. Are you kidding me? I, yeah, I was like, vision, you better calm more, because like, our comms were off. Yeah, I, could I never mean, I was... you guys. <laughs> but remember how it was at the beginning of the season of vision? I'd be like, hey guys, can I please talk? And everyone's like, no, let's speak over. <laughs> Yeah, no one let you talk on Vision. You're not babysitting the entire team as main support. You're doing it wrong. I Dude, honestly, I feel like a babysitter sometimes. Good. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. I mean, I learned uh, flex support. Is that yeah. cool? <laughs> I mean, I have, I have played a lot of uh, flex support before this. I mean, I wouldn't have, you know, signed up for it if it wasn't my second most comfortable role. But also, it was because, like, Ano is one of my best heroes, and then that ended up not being super relevant. So I learned a whole lot more um, about playing the other heroes in, more, in a more nuanced way than I had before. Because I played some of those, like, DPS before, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> the biggest thing I learned was how important comms were in general. Because I remember on my last team, our entire comm structure was basically just me talking the whole time and our main tank saying something. And I was just like, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I don't need to talk. And then I like went to this team and then I realized uh, so that calming is way more important. And like to stop memeing your comms. Because I do that a lot. Yeah. I Oh, uh oh. Oh, unnecessary <laughs> comms, bro. You know what, though? You have you did get a lot better by the end of the season. Same with you, Alpha. You got both, a lot better. Yeah. You both don't piss me off as much anymore. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a big compliment from those, actually. Yeah, I, will say, I, I will say that this is uh, something that I harp on almost every team, regardless of playing or not. Like, If I was at the DC press conference, which they had while I was at work. Uh, <laughs> SMH I, my head. SMH my head, bro. But uh, I literally yelled at like Kenobi and like a bunch of other DC players about shit, like saying stuff I just don't care about in mid fight. <laughs> like I, ugh, it's my pet peeve when it comes to comms. <laughs> also, the comms document, guys. Don't forget the comms. I actually read that. Stacking? I actually did read that. Eventually. You didn't read it? Uh, oh, it's comms. too long. <laughs> What do you what mean, do you mean it's, it's too long? Too long. <laughs> it was too it's, long. It's 12 <laughs> pages. It takes you. It's 12 pages. 12 pages. <laughs> oh it takes my like god. 10, 30 minutes. Bro, you know what I could do in 12 pages? I could be beating Pokemon right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then play that instead of Overwatch. Wait, Geek, did you please tell what? me you actually read it. I read it multiple times. Dude, man, oh my god, Vision, because I was I was so afraid of everyone, I was like, I don't want to disappoint anyone. So I read that shit over and over, I took notes on it, I don't remember where it was, <laughs> but I was so afraid, and I came and everyone was like, yeah, we didn't read it, I was like, okay. Well, that's, a, that's a, as soon as they said that, I knew Vision wasn't going to be a good team. <laughs> but, man, I didn't know what was going on. To be honest, that's when I read it, I love you, kid. Did you read that document, Ken? Yeah, I read it. There we go. Okay. You know, <laughs> this is why only like Thai, Ken, and Geek are the only people I brought from Vision to me. That's the only. <laughs> Play <laughs> coaching. I was about to. I thought you were about to say they're the only people I like, and I was just. No, no, no. Trust me. I, like hate like, I read it too after the first. Stream, sure. but I read it. Must have listened read it. No, after memeing that I can't read, I read it. <laughs> Trust me, I know Nev still doesn't like me. I don't dislike you. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't like me. 
first off, first off, let's get one thing straight. I hate every. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yep. It's a very communist approach. No. <laughs> what? No. He hates everyone equally. No. For the chicken man. Except some are more equal than others. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, uh, like uh, I could, I could just start going off. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next question. All right. uh, That's I a great a, conversation I to have in my interview. More, <laughs> I got one more I, question to ask you guys. It's uh, I tend to ask this one to every team because sometimes you get some interesting answers. It's, uh, what did you do, if anything, for team bonding? Did we do anything? No, I didn't do we any game night. We played comp. Yeah. 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 Honestly, no. comp. We did. We some, I mean, the only times we sat comp, comp were like back. when we couldn't get a scrim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I just, I just remember getting... Yeah, I, I just remember getting pinged with your record. Yeah. <laughs> like, every time you won or lost yeah, the game, you guys just pinged me. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? Like, we had bonded over like, trolling Nev. Yeah. Yes, 100%. We bonded over trolling Nev. Yeah. Say, like, we scrimmed, we scrimmed more than last season's Wisdom, so, like, I didn't do as much team bonding. Because, like, you guys spent almost every day together anyway. Like, last season's Wisdom, like... I had a policy of only scrimming twice a week. Like, what? look, okay, last season, like, personally, I think my my philosophy changed a lot over from season to season. Like, I still maintain the same fundamentals, but I much was much more of a tryhard this season in terms of just like, I didn't take shit from you guys about like, yeah, I, like, and also like it was different this season because I didn't have jelly. Because Jelly did a lot of, like, the actual, like, coaching last season. And I was the big picture guy last season. And this season, I kind of... I really wanted to dive in to the coaching. So. All right. Well, that sounds I like... like oh. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go. Oh, I was about to say, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I always enjoy going to scrims because I felt like we always had fun at scrims, too. Yeah. Like before and afterwards. So. Yeah, that, yeah I remember I Geek yelling at the chat a lot after of the time going finals. Win. Like a couple of days after going finals, Geek typed in chat when her next scrims. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, and then I meme saying, yo, let me ask Nev, yeah, you know. <laughs> yo, Nev, when's our next scrims, by the way? <laughs> Nev, do we have a bye week this week? <laughs> <laughs> do we have a bye week? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Don't bring that beef back. I can <laughs> <laughs> Bye week next week, boys! Bye week! Bye week. Yes, yay. I, like, in the beginning of so games there was and this... stuff for scrims, what? we would also, like, we had, like, a thing at the beginning of games and scrims. I would, like, say, hey, what are we doing? And then we'd say fighting or feeding. That was awesome. Or teleporting. <laughs> or teleporting. So also or the swimming. Speeding. There was, like, the Speeding. swimming pool. Speeding. The, the swimming pool meme. Pool party. The, the pool, pool party. party. Yeah. 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 And then there was yeah. also, like, uh, the high five. Or did we only do that in quality? That was no, we did it. No, Zorth high five people. Head pats. Oh, head yeah. pats. Head pats. He, he gave us head pats. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> no, but the meme they were talking about with the bye week, you know how uh, novice and it, like experts didn't have a bye week while immediate and advanced did, Agri? Yeah. They couldn't wrap the, their heads around it. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> So, yeah, we don't have a game next week, guys. We have a buy. And I was like, no, we have a game, you, you guys. And I literally took, like, screenshotted, like, the schedule and stuff and, like, showed <laughs> it to them to be like, and then the itch is being a meme. And I really, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it, it ended up becoming. I think we actually got a buy a week. Yeah, I also think it ended up becoming. I think it ended up. I think it was also the same week as Nev's birthday that that supposed bye week was. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Really we were like, Nev's birthday, birthday bye week. week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess before we ended off, then, uh, guys, like, do you guys want to tell Akri what our mantra was? <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah. yeah. laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> we got to count it down or. <laughs> oh, I just Yeah, Nev, count it down. Uh, or not Nev, uh, whoever. I count can count, yeah, okay. All right, three, two, one. This, this team, team is shit. shit. <laughs> there we go. I made us say that before every map. Yeah, I, did. I couldn't say that. He did. Yeah. My mom and it's zero zero. Yeah. Zero zero. <laughs> <laughs> did I right. zero zero on the shit? Shit. 
Well, my mom, my mom actually confronted me after a game once. He's like, "Can you stop saying this team is shit?" So, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for showing up to this press conference. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the season. And I uh, hope everyone at home enjoyed watching this press conference. One of the longer ones. One of the more entertaining ones I've hosted thus far. So uh, that's all I've got. See ya. <laughs>